While high in the sky, the mother eagle knows the importance of trailing tradition. The mother eagle knows the importance of trailing uh, tradition. What you mean, preacher? I'm glad you ask. At about two weeks, it is impossible uh, for the eaglet to just feed itself. Uh, by the third week, uh, they're at least one foot high and their feet and their beaks are very near adult size. Uh, between four and five weeks, uh, the birds are able to stand, uh, at which time they can begin tearing their own food with their beaks. Uh, at six weeks, uh, the eaglets are very nearly uh, as large as their parents. Hey, uh, at the eighth week, uh, the appetite of the young birds uh, are at their greatest level. Huh? But someone say 12 weeks. 12 weeks. At like 12 weeks, come on somebody. At 12 weeks, 12 weeks. Uh, the eagle is ready to take flight. Hey, at 12 weeks, uh, the eagle is now prepared. Go back around the sixth week. Uh, it was as big as the parent. Uh, it was not able to take flight uh, until the eighth week. Uh, there's some of you uh, who look like you're ready uh, for what God has for you. Uh, but eyes have not seen, the hearers have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for you. If you're anywhere like me, I dare you to lift up your hands and say God, that's me. That's me, God. I'll continue to do the above and beyond in me. Though I look ready, I know it's much more that you have in store. Though I look ready, I know Oh God, you are not through with Brady and A and me. I near you. Oh, Shiva, turn to your neighbor and ask your neighbor, are you game? Uh, are you game? Uh, are you game? Are you ready for where God has to put you? Are you ready in your 12th week to take flight? Are you ready to soar into the storm and the eye of the storm and not be afraid? Are you ready? ready uh, to use the things uh, that crush everyone else uh, but float on it. Uh, are you ready uh, to begin to fly out of your nest, uh, fly out of your crib, to tell your mother eagle, uh, uh, the mother of all eagles, uh, have called me uh, to fly right now. Uh, though you may think uh, I'm still in my eighth week, uh, it's time mommy uh, for me to fly. Uh, and mother eagles, uh, it's time for you uh, to transition to higher heights and higher testing to be able to witness and say for God I live and for God I will surely fly fly with Jesus and let people know that I am game and ready for where God has me or do I have a witness God will prepare you for your flying season, that you're about to fly over hurricanes, that you're about to fly over the harassment, you're about to fly over the hurt, oh, you're about to fly over some things and give God glory in your flying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm almost done. Hallelujah. I know you thought I was finished, but I'm not finished yet. Come, 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 come. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Ah, let me work this thing out. Ah, just stand right there. Just stand right there. Oh, I'll stand right there. Stand right there. Uh, there's, a, there's a game uh, called Mother May I. And this is a family game. Don't miss it. It's a family game. Uh, that means it's not just one person that can play this game. Huh? Uh, because where there's two or three gathered, my God, it's a family game. So you're standing right there. And this game is a game that mostly children play, but it's a family game. I like this. That means not uh, because of your age will you be excluded. My God, it's a family game, right? Uh, Mother, may I, uh, 
uh, usually deals with one person or a few persons on one side of the room. And you would have another person on the other side, and that person would act as the mother. Mm. I like this because it teaches the children manners. Mm. Oh, my God. A child that does not have manners uh, ends up messing things up. Uh, but I like this game because it teaches you manners. You ask the question, mother, may I? And the mother will usually reject you or accept you. It's up to the mother. The mother decides based on this whether or not the mother will give you access to what you've asked for. Yeah. Ah, that means the mother should know what the child needs, not just want. Whoa, the mother knows um, the will concerning the child. Hey, and so the child honors the mother by what the mother responds is. Yeah. So when you ask me, mother, may I, I may say uh, no, based on the fact that you're asking for a bunny leap, or you may be asking for a sprint, but the mother knows that if you come too soon, and if you come too quick, hey, you might forfeit your blessing. Because the mother knows that you are not at your 12 weeks yeah. and your peak. Hey. And therefore, the mother knows if I launch you out too quick, uh, you may fall and die. I, I like this. I like this. Uh, mother, may I, uh, also teaches you this next component. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me turn here. It, it teaches you uh, what it truly means uh, to enter into family. But catch this, catch this. The, 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 the game says, whichever child reaches the mother first wins the game. But catch this, uh, it is designated that the child who reaches the mother then becomes a mother. I'm here to tell the church today that where God is positioning you for is a place that you too will become a mother. You too will become a child bearer. You too will become a womb for purpose. And that means the very presence, my God, and the glory of God uh, that you are about to get, you also need to stand as that mother to direct other eaglet yeah. to God's encounter. Yeah. Uh, you can't encounter yeah. God without the yeah. right counsel yeah. of God. Yeah. And I'm here to let you know, my brother, because you're probably still questioning why you're still right there. Uh, let, me, let me help you. Uh, um, you're still right there because my good boy Isaiah says it like this. They that wait upon the Lord uh, shall renew this trend. Uh, my God, this shall mount up. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. And you're in that waiting place right now. And I've not given you the word to advance uh, because you're still being prepared where you are. Uh, because if you come too soon, uh, you're going to become weary uh, and you're going to faint. Uh, but God knows what you need, Deshaun. He knows how much to give you while you're in high school. Uh, because he knows where you're going. Uh, you need to be ready uh, to take flight. Uh, I dare you right now to do this as a symbol of what God is doing in your spirit. Uh, that you heard the word of God and therefore you're about to take flight. Take flight, Deshaun. Take flight. I dare you to take flight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God some praise.